Normally when I unwrap a model in Maya, I just select the mesh, click automatic, and sew together pieces until it does what I want it to do in terms of layout. As you can see, when it comes to pipes and cylinders, automatic doesn't work very well. They're not oriented correctly, they're stretching, and there are seams literally everywhere. For a properly unwrapped pipe or cylinder, everything is oriented in correct direction in this way vertical. And there is minimal stretching. You'll still have some because the outside will be a longer distance than the inside because of the curvature. But this is as good as it's going to get. This is the pipe we're going to be doing the unitized method for unwrapping in Maya. And this will eventually look like this. It's actually pretty simple. It's only three steps. Unitize, move and sew, and then unwrap along V in this case. Could be U or V. You might have to do both and figure out which one works. Select your mesh, open up the UV editor. As you can see, nothing has been done yet. Click on Modify, click on Unitize. What that does is it takes every single polygon and it places it in the one-to-one -one space for the UV editor. So they're all layered on top of each other now. So now we have to reassemble them essentially. Right click, make sure you're in edge mode. You can either select it here as you can see it selected them, or sometimes it's easier just to go like this and select them, either way. But the key is we have to deselect one of the edges. Hold control, which as you can see gives you a little minus symbol, and then double click on the inner edge. The reason why it's white is because this icon here is active texture borders. If you turn this off, it's just the difference between what is selected and this line shows that it's unselected. But I like to have this on, this, and this. Now that we have all the edges selected, except for the one that we deselected, while you're over the UV editor, Hold shift, right click, and as you can see, it's context sensitive. So if your mouse is still over here, because you just deselected it and you hold shift, right click, you'll get different options. Make sure you're over the UV editor, shift, right click, and then highlight over move and sew edges, and then un right click, just release. As you can see, that creates a big rectangle. We're halfway there. Now we want to highlight all the edges and went to shift, right click, unfold. I'm going to show what unfold along U looks like. That's not what you want. So if it looks like that, control Z, hold shift, right click, unfold, and then unfold along V in this case. That's what we want. We'll have to now shrink this down, scale it down so it fits in this little square here. Move it up to this location to where they're over each other. Zoom in. Hit the R key. Scale down. Zoom in a little more. Keep scaling. W. A little more. Now this is in the wrong orientation, so we're going to want to click on Transform. You could do it manually if you wanted to use E, hold the J key, and then just go like that. You can also click on Transform, scroll down to Rotate, and then rotate either clockwise or counterclockwise. Now we want to apply the UV checker texture to this. 
to make sure that it's oriented vertically. In object mode, back over the main window, right click, go down to assign existing material, UV, Now we need to reposition this so it's in the center of the 1001 UV tile. You can close the UV editor window. And there we go. This is now this. That is how you unwrap a pipe or cylindrical object in Maya using the UV unitize unwrap method. Thank you for watching the video.